Welcome to Bites of the Big Apple, where we help you find unique ways of discovering New York City. It's helpful whether you live here or whether you're just visiting. The Bowery Boys expose. Hey, it's the Bowery Boys. Hey. Most people that live in New York City or visit don't realize just how much history there is in these five boroughs. So the Bowery Boys team of Tom and Greg are looking to expose some of that really rich history through their podcast. So I'm going to sit down with them and have them tell me how they got started, what's behind that name, and maybe a few of their favorite New York City stories. So, Tom, Greg, tell me about the Bowery Boys podcast. What is it? And I really want to know the Bowery Boys name. What does that mean? What's that about? The Bowery Boys was the name of a 19th century street gang that walked the Bowery, that uh, traveled in groups, sort of dominated the streets of the Bowery and the Five Points area. They were 19th century bad boys, mm -hmm. just oh, like, like us, that. obviously. And what? when we started, put, we put it together and we were just looking for a name, of course, it was around the time, I think, that Gangs of New York, the film, had come out. But also, I just liked the idea of like, well, everyone who listens to the show can, in a certain sense, join our gang of learning about the city um, and exploring it, um, using our podcast, and then going off to their own adventures. That's one of the things that I love about the Bowery Boys, is that you talk about the history that has sort of disappeared from what we see day to day. Right. So what's your mission with the Bowery Boys and how does that relate to the history and preserving the history of New York City? Well, when we started the podcast now five years ago, mm -hmm. we really just wanted to create a show that was kind of like Greg and I in a bar having a drink and talking about history. Yeah, we wanted to ignite people's interest in New York, but there was even like a pr more practical purpose for myself that I wanted to get across, which was when you learn about a place, when you learn about your neighborhood, for instance, it just makes what you have to do every day so much more unique and interesting if you're like, wow, something really important happened here. A right. hundred years ago, something significant happened here. We've done 135 episodes now, so in the course of five years. So we're really learning along with the podcast. I will say that one thing that I've learned from this five years into it is that there are so many out of date, amazing books that have not been scanned by Google that are not available online. And the New York Public Library is a fabulous resource. <laughs> you have found as you've evolved who's actually listening to the podcast and, right. and who you're talking to. And it's who not always who you would expect, right? I think that we thought yeah. that it would be mostly people in New York City listening to stories of their city, getting yes. to know their city better. I would say about half of our listeners, and it might even be more than half, are don't, they don't live in New York. Many of them have never been to New York. New York City has a magic to, to people. People yeah. just want to know about... It's not us. It's, not it's the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean. People are in love with the city <laughs> all over the country and all over the world. With New York, especially with people who live outside of the United States, I feel like New York is also a little bit of a shorthand of American history. And I think what I love about what you do is you're not telling the stories we've all already heard. When I listen mm -hmm. to your podcast and when I listen to the walking tours, it's always new information, and, and so right, for right. people that want to know more, that is great because they're not seeing that in other places. We try to add as much color to it that would not be something that you would normally get in a history book or a history class. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that is what sort of distinguishes the show from just reading a, a book or watching a History Channel documentary. I regret only that I can't, we can't record more shows more often and that I don't have a huge staff of people to bring these kinds of things because it's an unlimited, it's a right. deep well of, story, right. of history. And that's why it's great as a podcast subject because we could just keep going on and on. We've done it for five years already and there's no shortage of topics that are waiting to be covered. One of the things that I loved learning from your podcast is things about my favorite bar, McSorley's. I thought I knew everything there was to know. Uh -huh. So what do you say we go talk history at McSorley's and cheers to five more years of podcasts? I Thank love you that so idea. much. Let's do it Thank right you. now. Uh, All right. We'll, and now women are allowed. Much. Yes, I can go in with you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I feel so lucky. <laughs>